All right, we're moving right along here. So let's get started with that ceramic material. So again, let's pull open our hypershade here. I'm going to clear out our workspace and grab that standard surface again. Go ahead and rename this AI Ceramic. And come back up here to base. Now I'm going to leave the base weight set to 8. Actually, let's take this one down to 7, or 0.7, sorry. So we're going to use that clear coat again on this one. So let's go ahead and for the color, we want to use the orange color swatch that we have. So we're going to tick that checker box and grab the file, open up the folder, and let's grab this orange PNG here. All right, so we do want a diffuse roughness if that was just thinking about layers of ceramic. The base layer would be pretty rough, it wouldn't be super shiny. So we're going to use a diffuse roughness here of about 0.34. And we want to go ahead and take our specular weight down to 0.1. The roughness, let's go ahead and take that up to 0.4. And the IOR, we're going to take that down to 1. Here we have a pretty rough surface. Now let's go ahead and add our clear coat on top of this. So for the weight, we have 0.2. For the color, we're going to leave at white. The roughness, we'll go ahead and leave at 0.1. And the IOR, let's take this down to 1.4. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and get this applied to those egg shaped decor. Let's grab both of these. Go ahead and right click, assign existing and we want the ceramic. Now we're also going to apply it to these little balls that are in this bowl here. Let me just zoom in. Now we're not gonna get super close to these. If we did, they wouldn't be ceramic necessarily, but we are going after the color and there's not gonna be enough surface information from our camera view that we're really gonna notice that they are super shiny from the ceramic. So let's just go ahead and apply that ceramic coating to these as well, or material. Okay, so we just want that color that we're going after, and we, there's no need to create another material, especially when we're not gonna get super close to these objects here. So from our camera view, you won't even notice. So let's go ahead and do the ceiling real quick. Get our hypershade brought back up here, clear out our workspace, and grab that standard surface once again. And we're gonna call this one AI ceiling. Okay, so for the base weight, we're going to leave at the default 0.8. The color, we're going to leave at white. Diffuse roughness, we do want to increase this. So we're going to take this to 0.2. The weight for specular, we're going to take to 0.2. Color, we're going to leave alone. We do want to increase the roughness to 0.35. And the IOR, we're going to take down to 1.2. Okay, so let's go ahead and now get this applied to our ceiling. So we'll grab our ceiling here and assign existing material and let's grab the ceiling. Now right here, let's grab our faces here and this little strip that comes down from the ceiling, I do wanna make this the wall color. So let's grab those faces here and assign existing material and let's go ahead and assign the walls material here there we go so that's it for this clip in the next clip we'll work on the mirror and the window trim